amazing that we got to take part in such a massive decision for our future. Um, excuse the English accent, I can promise I was born in Scotland and I've lived here my entire life. <laughs> um, I, I did vote no because at the time I thought it would be the best decision for Scotland but I cannot believe how wrong I was. It's only been 10 days and can someone tell me how many devolved powers we've had since then? Exactly. I can promise that if we have another re-vote I will vote yes and unlike Westminster I'm not going to break that promise. I wanted it to be a fair and impartial vote. But the, the amount, amount of rigging, rigging and bias, bias from, from BBC, BBC actually, actually sickens me. And then they, they think it's more important to involve, involve themselves in foreign, foreign countries, countries than actually involve, 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 involve themselves in stuff that's happening here and, and now. They've shoved us to the back seat, seat and, and thought, thought it more important, important to bomb Iraq. It should be a foreign country. I've actually got foreign Thanks very much, sir. You're losing your butt. Everyone in Scotland is independent. We're all sovereign. Scotland is independent. This is an illusion. It's an illusion. Now, Simon saying all we need to do is declare independence. If you've got to declare something, you have to already have it. Aye? Now, we're all kings or queens of this land. This is our land. Every man, woman, and child in Scotland is sovereign. The Declaration of Proofs of our Declaration of Independence can never be overturned, can never be overruled. The Act of the, the Union, Union built itself, itself round the Declaration of Broke because it cannot be touched. We are all sovereign. Remember that. Every man, woman and child is sovereign. We are independent. It's a political illusion that they're putting us under. To take your independence from you because it's already in you. It's already in each and every one of you. We're all sovereign. Let's get your freedom! Yeah! First of all, I have an apology to Scotland. I was one of those that voted no. But you know what? What every single one of you have just showed me, you've changed this whole, the whole thing for me. Because let's be fair, we were all tricked. The law to us. We all thought we were getting better than what we were. It was not the case. I voted no because I was scared. What have I got to be scared to? Look at every single one of you out here right this second. Show me what I've got to fall back on. Why I voted no, I don't know. But I tell you one thing, I've got the yes vote and I'll be behind you every step of this way. Yourself. What I actually found out was half of the papers that we signed were illegal and I think mine was as well because mine actually had no number on it. So I think that obviously the government must understand this. Nicola Sturgeon and Alex Salmond are not stupid, let's be honest, look how many people voted for them. There'll be something in the pipeline and you know what guys, let's be there with our ACF because we're getting freed up for Scotland whether we have to fight for years for it. For our next generation, Scotland to blame! Hi, my name is Daniel Hughes. I'm 23 years old. I've voted for the first time in my life. Just recently. It was the biggest thing ever. I watched and I watched as our campaigns were ignored, as people just were not interested. We weren't reported on the news. People just, just looked away. And I seen strength everywhere. I seen hope. I seen so much positivity. I decided to go up north, up to the Highlands to see what, why I really love Scotland. There's not a no sign in sight. When I look out and I see that, oh, apparently the Highlands mostly voted no, I just can't believe that. When I went to vote, the back of my ballot paper was blank. Like a scandal over the hat, Scotland! 
So I look out today and I'm seeing people disappointed, people upset that day after the no. But I come out here today and I see hope, I see positivity, I see change. Because together, when people are together, they're united, they're strong. And when people are strong, they can force change. We are positive, we are change, and we deserve the freedom. Thank you. We are one humanity. There might well be quite a lot of people here that actually do um, believe in what's right for this planet. They might have voted no, they might be here because they've changed their mind. I just want to say that I'm glad you're here. Yeah. some really nice people that voted no, that believe in a green planet. I think that they were fear-mongered by Westminster. They had a fear possibly of losing their pension. They had a fear of losing their business relationships. You know, maybe they thought they were doing the right thing. I mean, as stupid as I think it is, I want to just be a bit sorry for them. Let's not make this a separate Scotland. Let's gather love between every single person that is here at work together for the freedom of our land. Stand against fracking, stand against nuclear, stand against war. Get our life back. Every single one of us that can do our little bit. You know, we can stand together when we go on marches, we can stand together in petitions, we can stand together in sit-ins, but we can also do more than that. Look within your heart, think if you've got a strength, an individual thing that you can do, just like myself, I never done public speaking until last week. You know, you find something that you can do that's going to make a change, that's going to make people listen, that's going to spread the real news. You know, we are the news. We are the news as we speak. We make the change. Don't forget that you are the change. Every conversation you have on the bus, every single conversation you have in the pub toilets can make a difference when you change somebody's mind to stop voting with their pound towards all the things that are wrong to start living more sustainably. Just make choices within yourself. You know in your heart what's right. Stop questioning it. Thank you very much. Yes! Oh. What's that? That looks like Westminster to me. Get that cloud away. We don't want that, do we? Oh. Goodbye, Westminster. Goodbye. <laughs>